Okay, so we're going to learn today about how to convert liters to cubic inches. In the old days, the size of a car engine was measured in cubic inches, and that was a measurement of the volume of all the cylinders in the engine combined. And then at some point, we stopped talking about car engines in cubic inches and started talking about them in liters. But how do we compare the engines of new cars to the engines of old cars? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. So I know it's going to seem kind of weird how we do this with liters. Don't think of a liter as a cylinder. A liter is technically dis, um, defined as the volume of a cube that is 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. So if you want to look at it, one liter is equal to 10 cm times 10 cm times 10 centimeters, or in other words, 10 centimeters cubed. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to change the centimeters to inches. So there are 2.54 centimeters in every inch. So you divide each by 2.54, 2.54, 2 2.54. Remember, you got to divide this first because if you multiply these all together and just divide it by 2.54, you're going to get something wildly wrong. Um, and so, by the way, in 2.54, make sure if you're doing it that way that the 2.54 is inside the brackets or you're going to get something really, really wrong. So, you divide 10 by 2.54, you get something a little bit shy of 4, um, four inches on each side. It's actually 3.93 inches times 3.93, almost four. And for most cases, four would be precise enough. And that is equal to 3.94, that's a four inches and the whole thing cubed. So multiply it together all together and you get that one liter is equal to 61.02. You could just say 61. Come on. That's 98% accurate. Six, but 61 inches cubed. So, if you're converting, you know, liters to cubic inches, you take the number of liters, multiply by 61.02, and that equals the number of cubic inches. And if you want to go the other way, you take the number, let's see, am I still on the shot? I think I am. Take the number of cubic inches and divide by 61.02 to get the number of liters. Yeah, just if you want to make sure you're doing it right, remember a liter is a lot bigger than a cubic inch. So you're going to need less of them to create the same volume. Since a cubic inch is a tiny little thing, you're going to need a lot more of them. So if you do, if you're converting liters to cubic inches and you get a really small number, you probably did it wrong. Okay? So just remember, if you're going from a big unit to a small unit, you're going to need more of them to get the same amount of volume. And if you're going from a small unit to a big unit, you're going to need less of them to get the same number of volume. I hope this has been helpful and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.